Platinum Digital Studio VCA Classic VCA Vintage VCA Studio Fet Vintage Fet Vintage Optical. Wow. <laughs> What's up guys, Tim here from Audio Tutor. Today we are talking about Logic Pro X or Logic Pro 10, whatever you want to call it. As you may know, this is one of my favorite digital audio workstations to use. I think it's awesome. I think it's great value for money. It's so intuitive and you get some great extra free things when you buy the software. One of those free things is what we're talking about today and that is the stock compressor. Now if you have Logic Pro X, Logic Pro 10, you probably will have seen the compressor, the stock compressor here, and using the stock compressor you will have noticed that we have lots of different tabs here available to us, lots of different models of compressor available to us, which I think is awesome. So many digital audio workstations come with just one or maybe two compressors. This one comes with seven seven models of famous compressors and they are really good, really accurate emulations of those compressors. So today we're going to be working our way through the different models from Platinum Digital all the way over to Vintage Optical and we're going to be talking about what models are being emulated here, what compressors are being emulated here and why they're so awesome. So first up we've got the Platinum Digital. This is that lovely blue one that comes up straight away when you select the stock compressor here in Logic. The Platinum Digital, as far as I know, isn't based on a famous model. It's the only one that isn't based on a previous model. Platinum Digital is Logic's version of a really clean straight through compressor. So you can do your dynamic processing that you need and you're not going to be adding any saturation or very little saturation to your sound signal. So it's a really good option if you want to adjust the dynamics a little bit but you don't need to add any saturation to your signal. Next up we have the Studio VCA, this lovely red compressor, and it's red for a reason, because it is based on the Focusrite RED 3, which is also a RED compressor. It's a very well-known compressor, it's got a lovely sound to it, and you'll notice here on the Studio VCA emulation that we are missing the knee adjustment on the threshold there that we had in the Platinum Digital, so that is taken away, but we do still have access to the distortion and the limiter, and there's a nice mix knob, which I love. I love seeing a mix knob in a plug-in, I think that's awesome. So it it's a very nice sounding compressor, once again based on the Focusrite RED 3. Next up is the famous one, it's the 1176, yay! You've probably heard 1176 a thousand times watching YouTube videos just like this. This is an awesome emulation, it's really good, people have compared it to some of those really expensive plugins that you can buy, and this one's absolutely free. It's a great emulation of the Yuri 1176, and this is the blackface version, but the vintage FET is the silver face version as well, but they're both the same model, the Yuri 1176. Beautiful, beautiful sound here. If you haven't used this compressor on your vocals or your guitar or your bass or your drums yet, you totally should do that right after this video. Next up is the Classic VCA. This is an emulation of the DBX160, which is, for those audio people out there, a very famous compressor. Maybe a little less well known than the 1176, but still a very famous compressor. And you'll notice a few things here. They have tried their best to sort of emulate the idea of having the three dials here. It looks very similar and it sounds very similar. So do give the Classic VCA a go. On to the Vintage VCA. The Vintage VCA is a model of the SSL Mixing Desk. 
in particular the SSL 4000. On each track on the SSL mixing desk you would have an EQ and a compressor. This is emulating the compressor you would be using there on that SSL. So any of you out there who are longing to have one of those amazing mixing desks that you see in all your favorite magazines, well this is the first step, this vintage VCA. And ultimately is the vintage FET. Now we did talk about this earlier. This is the 1176 silver face version. And it, as I said before, it's a beautiful, beautiful compressor. It's a slightly different sound to the studio FET, the black face version. It's got a bit more grit to it. Um, just play around with the two different compressors there, the Vintage FET and the Studio FET, and see the differences between the audio signal. Again, the 1176 is awesome for vocals, bass, drums, guitars, electric guitars, all of that. So go and try it out. I love the 1176. Everyone does. The last one here is the Vintage Optical, or Vintage Opto, as it's shortened to here. This is a emulation of the Teletronics LA-2A, which again is a very famous compressor. You've probably heard of the LA-2A before, and you've probably seen it in many beautiful studios around the world. It's a really nice sounding optical compressor. There are a few differences here in the emulation compared to the analog compressor, and that is that on the analog compressor you've got three dials, technically two, um, and over here on the emulation you've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, so they're giving you more control over your audio signal and your dynamic processing, but the sound is very similar, so it's a great emulation. There you have it guys, a total rundown of all seven compressors here that you get free on Logic Pro X or Logic Pro 10, whatever you want to call it. I think it's just awesome that you get so many great emulations of famous pieces of equipment completely free as your stock compressor. What an awesome free little gift from Logic. Talking of free gifts, I've actually got a free gift for you. If you are looking to get started recording and mixing, or even if you're an experienced mixing engineer, mastering engineer, recording engineer, singer, songwriter, whatever you do in the world of audio, I've got an equipment recommendations list, which is always handy. It's an absolutely free ebook, 25 pages, of insights and recommendations. Included in there are DAW recommendations, microphone recommendations, uh, converter recommendations. So go and have a look. It's absolutely free, a free gift from me to you. There'll be a link in the description of this video. You just click on that, it will take you to a landing page, give me your email address and I'll send you the book straight away. You can download it, put it on your phone, print it out, be all old school, print it out, put it on your desk as a point of reference, whatever. I just want to help you get better recordings, better mixes, and better songs, and better audio, and better... How many times have I said better now? I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope that helped a full rundown of all of those compressors there in the Logic Pro 10 stock compressor plugin. All right, guys. For now, my name's Tim from Audio Tutor. Ciao.